What's good, neighborhood? You're back in the lab with your favorite neighbor, your man, Mark Nash. He is I. I am here. Another great episode of Breaking Beats. I right, so Terrence Bud Crawford is back in the news, and it's not because of his amazing boxing ability and his one-sided butt whipping he put on Errol Smith Jr. It's because of his trainer, Bo Matt McIntyre. And then Brian Bo Matt McIntyre just brought Chris Eubanks back from a crazy knockout loss to Beefy Smith. Liam Smith went in there and got beat up by Chris Eubanks Jr. It was one-sided. But more importantly, what happened afterwards is what we're hearing is Brian Bullman McIntyre was caught at the airport with the strap. Oh, man, they said he had the blicky on him. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but from all accounts, when I look online right here, all the stories are saying Brian Bowman McIntyre had their Blakey on him. They said he was charged with firearm possession. One story right here said it was a loaded gun. Wow. I'll keep you guys updated on the stories. We have more information. It's your man Martin Ash breaking beats. We'll talk about this very soon, but congratulations to Brian Bowman McIntyre, Chris Eubank Jr. Put on a hell of a performance, but this story is crazy. They saying, um, Let's go to the BBC because that is their their that's their country, right? It said, "Uh, boxing trainer Brian Bowman McIntyre has been charged with possession of a firearm after a gun was found in his luggage at Manchester Airport." Wow, McIntyre, fifty three years old, was arrested at the airport on Sunday as he prepared to board his flight back to the United States. McIntyre was remanded in custody by the magistrates on Monday and due, appear, um, due to appear excuse me, um, in Manchester Crown Court next month. Officials were called to reports of a possible firearm being found in whole luggage by airport staff and Manchester Airport, Greater Massachusetts Police reported. That's the GMP. GMP officers attended, and the firearm was seized. So they got this gun in possession. So it, it, they got the weapon, man. It's a weapon in possession. Let's continue on. Brian McIntyre from the United States of America was charged with possession of a firearm and possession of ammunition for a firearm without certif uh without a certificate. So they got the gun. They got the weapon. Uh, McIntyre was remanded into custody after attending uh Stockport Magistrate Mag Magistrate Court on Monday. His next due to he is next due to appear uh in front of the Crown Court. On Monday, 9 October. So he got another court date. So he got to come back in 30 days. A little over 30 days. Is he on bail? Is he on bail? Well, let me see. Did they release him? Hold on. Let me scroll back up. All right. So Monday, he in court on Monday. Uh, and is due to appear next month. So, But is he still held with bail? Did they let him go? I don't see if they let him go. He was remanded in the custody on Monday. He got a he got a next court date of October the 9th, right here. Um all right, so that's what we got. That's a, that's the update. That's the update. That's the live update right there of everything we got right now. Let's go back a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. That was 38 minutes ago. So, and the time right now where we at, it's 9, oh, I'm sorry, 9.43 a.m. So this is the most recent update that we have of this story. All right, let me click refresh. Let me see if anybody got anything else. So yeah, that's the most recent story. BBC Sport has the most recent story of what's going on. But we still don't know, was he released on bail and what was the bail? But regardless, man, this is bad news. 
unnecessary distraction. Damn, Bo Matt had the blicky on him. Wow. I ain't surprised though, shit. I ain't surprised. Disappointed though. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I am a little disappointed because um this is an unnecessary distraction from the amazing career that he's had this year, man. Like, Bomek, hands down, no debates, was the front runner for trainer of the year after this performance Chris Eubanks Jr. put on on Saturday. Mm. 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 Will this affect Bomek? What do you think? Should it should it affect his his uh his coaching staff and his team and the outstanding performance they put on against Derrick James, trainer of the year, Errol Spence, three belt champion at the welterweight, undefeated champion, knockout artist. Will this affect? Uh, Brian Bowman's McIntyre's um, trainer of the year candidacy. I think some people will try to hold this against him. I think this should not affect his performance as a trainer, but I think he's an outstanding trainer, man. Got something good going on over there in Omaha, but this right here is uh, disappointing to say the least. But um, we're going to wait for all the facts to come out. We're not going to condemn anybody. Um, we definitely want to commend them for this work in the ring. But um, this right here, we got to wait for all the facts to come out. But it does appear from all accounts a weapon was found, and they are saying it's his luggage. It's your man, Martin Nash, Breaking Beats. Leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all think of the story. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe. I don't care how many subscribers he has. Support him. So he made all this possible. He made this possible. Nah, Dr. Mark, God made this possible, and so did viewers like you. Thank you so much for your time, your energy. Thank you for the opportunity to entertain you. Hope you guys love this video. Hope you found it entertaining. And um, yeah, man. All prayers to everybody. Smash that like button on the way out to Rome, all right? Peace.